used to call me baby even though she played me always been a sad hey guys welcome back to another video it's your favorite baby girl with and i'm back again with the back again and i'm back again with the back again Mm, 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 mm. I got a lot of energy today, okay? I'm happy. How are you guys doing? Let me know down in the comments. If this is your first time stumbling upon one of my videos, hi, I'm Wit. Welcome to my channel. I hope you like the vibe here. And if you do, make sure to subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, hey! I'm excited, okay? Because I've been trying out some new goodies and I'm ready to let y'all know all the tea about them. So let's get into the video. As you guys have already read from that title and also seen from the thumbnail, we have two fragrances from V Canto. This one that we have here is Pandolfo. I absolutely am in love. Do you guys see this bottle? My favorite color is Tiffany Blue, but I love all shades of blue. Guys, this bottle is it's doing something to me. I love the feel. It's so soft. It's weighted. I just want to show you guys the box that it comes in. This is the box. This is the way it is. Zerjoff boxes. My Zerjoff fragrances usually lay, except for the Casa Marenti line, the box is just like this. I actually like this one too. I like how it opens up and also closes. If you are a rose, oud, and sandalwood lover, you have to get your nose on this fragrance. This fragrance is bold it has such a different airy quality to it the longevity on this is amazing on your clothes this would be on your clothes for days oh my gosh this fragrance honestly like all jokes aside this fragrance is very different this is a unique fragrance i'm gonna be honest not everybody's gonna like this fragrance because it takes experience to want to deal with this type of oud. Yes, it has this sweet quality to it, but there's something else in its base that makes this a, not such an easy to wear fragrance. Um, definitely when I wear this fragrance, I want to be dressed up. I don't want to be chilling in the house wearing something like this. Of course you can chill in the house and wear this fragrance. You can do whatever you want with your fragrances. But for me, I want to feel put together when I'm wearing this fragrance. This is a 2020 release. It's rose, it's woody, it's amber. It's just something so captivating and just so different about this fragrance. In my collection, I don't have anything like this. Let me show you guys the Automizer. There was something about this fragrance that put me off that I just didn't like. It was giving me vibes of like benzoin. Initially spraying it didn't do it for me. It's when it simmered down on my skin that I was happy. The first 10 seconds, it was kind of like, mm, you know when you're kissing someone and it's just a whole bunch of like tongue and you wasn't ready for it? That's what it was. It was that same experience for me. It was just a whole bunch of tongue and I just wasn't ready for it. And then it's like, you know, once you've, relaxed and gotten used to the person and it's like hmm, i really mess with you i like you you're different but i like you that's the vibe that i got with this fragrance it's just different it has this different genesis why once that dry down hits you're gonna be happy you're gonna be so happy that of course you can like it from the opening to the dry down for for me i didn't like it from the opening i liked it from the dry down so when spraying it, it's like I just hold my breath a little bit. Like I'm not really feeling this tongue kiss, you know what I'm saying? But after a while, it's like, oh, it's really a nice fragrance. In here, I really get the oud. And it's not your typical oud. It's a special type of oud. It's an oud with a little bit of sweetness. And it could be from that rose. But this oud is more of an earthy, deeper, in a, in a funny way, it's like a masculine type of oud. But it is a nice fragrance. The next fragrance that we have is CG's Mondo. Oh my gosh, I love the name. CG's Mondo. Just sounds like something so romantic. Like we're getting close. CG's Mondo. I took Italian in high school, guys. Did you guys know that? This is just strength. It's wealth. It's might. The first time I actually smelled this fragrance, it took me to bond number nine, Black Sapphire. If you guys know, 
There's something about Bond Number no. Nine's Black Sapphire that puts me off, that turns my stomach around. I don't know what it is. It it just doesn't make me feel good. I've revisited the fragrance so many times. Now I actually mix it with Citrine from Bond Number no. Nine, but there's just something about it that kind of turns me off. When I initially sprayed this, I got that same essence and quality of Bond Number no. Nine Black Sapphire. This fragrance has cinnamon, Italian saffron, it has different ouds, it has vanilla. This is a deep, oh God, when you smell it, you just know it's might. Like, it even smells different just smelling it from the bottle than smelling it on a test strip. Guys, this fragrance is definitely one for someone that is bold. Like, you stand out. The longevity is beast. There's beast mode longevity on this fragrance. Like, I kid you not. I'm telling you, over 12 hours. I, this was lingering in my scarf for days. I had to throw my scarf in the wash with some downy. It was a lot. I didn't spray it on my scarf. I sprayed it on my clothes. But from my scarf laying on my clothes, it was on for so long. Just the way these bottles are, I give them a 10 out of 10. I actually like the way these bottles look and feel in my hands. Um, for the scent for this one, I'm going to give it 8 out of 10. Yes, it does give me resemblance of bond number 9. It does have a different air and quality about it that it makes it tolerable to definitely wear. I'm going to give it a 8. I'm going to give it a strong 8 out of 10 for this fragrance. Um, I like the fact that it does have a greater sweetness. I do like that. But then there is something very, very strong. For both of these fragrances are for a specific time, a specific day, and a specific event. This is not something that I would just casually grab and chill with. This is something definitely when I want to make the statement of, I'm not coming here to play. I want you to take me seriously. That is what I would use both of these fragrances for. I absolutely do like the fact that they are very different. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to check the description box. I always leave information about the fragrances. Also links to where to purchase these fragrances as well will be linked down below. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell your friends to pull up. Follow me on Instagram to keep up with my sense of the days. And also to participate in polls to see which video you guys want to come out first. Mighty Smile today. Share this video. Sharing is caring. And until my next video, mwah, bye guys.